If one day we discovered an extraterrestrial civilization equal to or more advanced than us, could we communicate with them? Could we understand what they say or could they understand us? Could we talk to aliens? Throughout history, various science fiction writers have tried to capture how difficult it would be to establish contact with extraterrestrials. Among some of those works, we can find the 2016 film Arrival, in which the story of how an extraterrestrial civilization arrives on Earth with spaceships to try to establish communication with humans in a peaceful way is narrated. In this film, the protagonist, Louise Banks, who is a well-known linguist, is in charge of trying to understand the way of communication of these strange octopod beings. Another film that shows this is Avatar. In this film, James Cameron developed the Navi language, which is spoken by the blue aliens who star in the film. The exciting thing is that James Cameron developed this language with the help of professional linguists who are based on the same way in which languages have developed in the history of humanity. And this is something that has been done on several occasions in the world of science fiction. As seen in the language of Namakusi from Dragon Ball Z, the Klingon from Star Trek, the Barsumiano from the adventures of John Carter on Mars, or the range of different extraterrestrial languages that were developed for Star Wars. The problem with all these fictional languages is that they are based on human language. That is, they start from the assumption that aliens could also communicate in the same way as us, which is unlikely. In the movie Arrival, the aliens had no mouth and no vocal cords, therefore they could not emit sounds, and if they did not emit sounds, do not eat ears, and therefore were also deaf. The only way to communicate with these aliens was through sight, through a language that is nothing like we know. But even so, this film is very optimistic, since it is assumed that aliens could communicate through symbols and most likely, it will not be so. The Barrier of the Senses We humans have several senses. Touch, hearing, sight, smell, and taste. Although this is the most popular idea, we do not have only five senses. We have about 27. However, not all animals on this planet have the same senses as the senses develop depending on the environment in which the animal lives. Humans develop on the Earth's surface under inclement weather, where the sun allows us to see during the day and the air allows us to hear, so it makes sense to develop eyes, ears, and legs. A fish that lives in the deep darkness of the ocean does not need feet nor eyes, since it will never use them. A bat can see but its most developed senses is the ear. A dog could smell anything in several miles. Pigeons can feel the magnetic field of the earth. Bees can see ultraviolet light and snakes the infrared. Each animal has developed different senses that depend on where it lives. If this is a pattern that is repeated in all living beings in the universe, it would mean that it is the most likely that aliens would not have the same senses as us. If aliens live on a planet where sound does not propagate in the same way as on Earth, they will not develop ears or vocal cords. If they live in perpetual darkness, they will probably have no eyes and would communicate through other things such as radio waves or chemicals released by their body just like ants. Knowing what senses they would use to communicate would be the first barrier to overcome, and this is just beginning to get complicated. Language or idiom When talking about extraterrestrial languages, the terms language, idiom, and dialect are usually used, as if they were synonyms, and this is not the case. Language is the means of communication of those who use oral expressions, writings, sounds, and gestures that have a meaning that we have attributed to them. That is to say that language is not exclusive to humans, since bees also have a language in which they communicate using hums and dances in the air. And dolphins have a language in which they use sonars in the water. Each animal species has its language, and within that language, different groups are divided, which is what we know as idioms. 
and from those languages, the dialects arise. That is to say that if there were an extraterrestrial civilization with which we could communicate, the first barrier to overcome would be the senses. If it is not a species that descends from primates like us, it will be pretty challenging to understand them. Since they are not primates, they will not communicate using the tongue as we do. Maybe they communicate with buzzes like bees, with colors like octopuses, or with aromatic chemicals released from their body like ants, but there's no way to know. Once we overcome this barrier, the language barrier would follow. Once we understand what senses aliens communicate with, the next step would be to try to decipher their language, which means every sound they produce, every gesture they make, and every color they emit. This is the hardest part. Just think about it. The human race shares this humble planet with millions of living beings, and to date, we've only been able to understand 100% the language of a single species, our own. Although we have been able to train chimpanzees to communicate with sign language, we cannot say that we understand them 100%. However, if we have come close enough, it is understandable since they are primates just like us. That is to say we share certain genetic traits that make it easier for us to understand them. But if we go to other animals, the thing gets complicated. For example, whales communicate through sonars that spread in the water. And although we have known their language for years, so far we have only been able to find out that each group of whales have their language. However, though we have heard their singing for decades, we still do not know what they say. Without going too far, the dogs and cats we live with daily have their language. And although they can be trained to obey some orders, we do not fully understand the language of dogs or cats. We don't have a dictionary that tells us what each bark or each meow means. If it's that complicated to understand the animals on our planet that have a relatively simple language, now imagine an extraterrestrial civilization that we don't even know what senses they use to communicate. It would be quite a challenge, and it would probably take us decades of study to try to understand their language, which like ours would be pretty complex. If you like this video, we invite you to leave us your valuable like and if you want to support this channel so that we can continue to make more and better videos. Mathematics, the language of the universe. In the 70s, NASA launched into space some very famous ships, the Voyager, whose primary objective was to study the farthest planets of the solar system. These also had a second mission. When they finished their journey through the planets, they would be sent to the ends of the solar system in search of extraterrestrial life. On board each probe was placed a gold disc that had engraved instructions on how to find the land and recorded images and sounds of all cultures and languages of our civilization. However, it is currently thought that these gold discs will not serve much, since if one day civilization finds them, there are no guarantees that they can interpret them, because if they do not have the same senses, they will not understand the instructions, and they will not be able to see or hear what the disc has. In the book Bronca Brain, Carl Sagan mentions that if one day we were to find an extraterrestrial civilization minimally advanced, or at least as advanced as us, regardless of what animal they descend or what senses they have, there is a high probability that we will be able to contact them and communicate with them thanks to technology. Consider that an extraterrestrial race, regardless of their senses or language, as they develop and become an advanced civilization, Eventually, the need to communicate long distances will lead them to develop telecommunications technology based on radio waves. Even though we humans, a relatively young race, in a short time, developed telecommunications technology around the world, an extraterrestrial race could develop the same technology or even be more advanced. If we contemplate this scenario in which both civilizations have similar technologies, we would have a common language, the technology of radio waves. This is the same with which television signals or Wi-Fi signals are sent. It would only be enough to try to communicate in the same language. But what would this language be? Many scientists have said that this language would be mathematics, since regardless of the type of aliens we encounter, just as we use mathematics to develop our technology, they would too. Mathematics is the language by which the universe is manifested. One way to detect an extraterrestrial race would be precise. 
receiving a signal that isn't common in the universe. On November 28, 1967, the scientist Jocelyn Bell discovered an extraordinary signal that came from a very distant place in the observable universe. This signal seemed to be repeated repeatedly, as if it were a cosmic lighthouse in Morse Key. At first, the scientific community thought that we had finally found an unmistakable signal of extraterrestrial life, a signal coming from an intelligent race that knew the numbers and was sending us an alert that said, hey, we're here. A beacon of hope in the eternal cosmic void finally told us that we were not alone. But that enthusiasm didn't last long, since when analyzing the signal, the astronomers discovered that it was a pulsar. A pulsar is a neutron star that rotates on its axis at an extraordinary speed. And in the process, the jets of energy from its poles change position, sending repetitive and constant signals. Sadly, these signals do not come from aliens, but a natural event. Given this, scientists believe that a civilization that wanted to communicate with us would not send such a simple signal, but would be something more complex but easy to decipher. This could be a numerical sequence that does not exist naturally in the universe, but that is evident. For example, a sequence from 1 to 100 of all prime numbers until you reach 100 and start again. This sequence does not occur naturally in the universe. It is complex, but at the same time easy to detect for an intelligent race like ours. To find a numerical sequence of this type or even more complex would mean an unmistakable sign of intelligent life. If we apply this to a language, an extraterrestrial race that wanted to communicate with us would first try mathematics. If we can understand each other, we would move on to the definitive method. Artificial Intelligence This would not be enough, even if we were to establish proper communication using mathematics. Eventually, we would have to find a way to understand each other. This is where our technology would intervene again. We cannot decipher language in such a short time, but perhaps the artificial intelligence that we have deployed, yes. Currently, artificial intelligence can learn. If we use them to decipher an extraterrestrial language, surely the process will accelerate a lot. This would not be limited to us. If an extraterrestrial race is intelligent enough to develop telecommunications technology, they will probably have also developed their artificial intelligence. In this way, each species would use its artificial intelligence to understand the language of the other and thus accelerate the communication process until we both agree on which language to use. Wouldn't be easy. We would have to overcome the barrier of the senses, the barrier of language, the use of mathematics as a common language, and artificial intelligence to establish the first interstellar dialogues. Of course, this does not have to be so. Aliens may not be so different from us, or they may be so different that the concepts of language, idiom, or mathematics do not even apply to them. What do you think? Would our technology and knowledge be enough to communicate with an alien race? Let us know your opinion with your valuable comment.